up? Um, today we got Big Hoppy Monster. The Terrapin Brew. Yeah. I've been uh, at the Georgia. It's a contract brew by Flying Dog, but mm -hmm. hey, whatever, you know. We get the Imperial Red Ale. Yeah, 8.3 ABV by volume. You get to A minus on Beer Advocate from the viewers and the bros, so it should be pretty good. You yeah. Know? First time trying a, a red ale. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna see what's up. Yeah. Thanks to Hoggy for sending me this, for sending me this right here. He sent me a couple other beers too. Thank we're, you, Hoggy. Good looking out, son. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna crack this puppy open. <laughs> let's, let's get this show on the ropes, son. Let's do it. Nice pour, finally. <laughs> yeah, so, I only got one bottle of this, so. 12 that's ounce, have, so yeah. That's all we have to go off by, so. Yeah, so. It's, it's enough to review off of. Yeah. Yeah, so. Looks red is brownish. Let's see. You got yeah, some, nice head. You got, um, some, you got some other light? So I can. No. Use my cell phone. That's fine. Can't really see no, much. Yeah. yeah, well it's um it's pretty tasty. You can't really see no. through it. <clears throat> nope. The head on it is it's like a brownish kinda. Yeah, it's a it's a dark brown. Yeah, you got you got more head than I do, so Yeah. I got a better head. And yeah, mine's dissipated kinda yeah. quick. But Oh you definitely smell the hops. You can smell the hops it kinda smells like that. Like the like the Russian yeah the stone a it does bit. yeah it does. like some chocolate like some, yeah some malt yeah some malt uh, some little bit you know hints of chocolate yeah it smells pretty good yeah, sweet yeah some sweetness yeah most well, definitely some sweetness yeah oh. appearance oh yeah it's it's a nice even tone color. Yeah, when you poured it, it looked you oh. know, it looked kind of muddy. Yeah. When you it, was, it was looking kind of muddy. It's a muddy right brown. There. Yeah. It's like muddy brownish, reddish. It's more got, more it's, on the brown side. It's got a, uh, looks like a iced coffee look on the, the head. I'm trying to get some head back. Yeah. Head. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of kind of yellowish. Kinda yeah. It's like a tan. Yellow. It's yeah. a it's a sandy, sandy tan head. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. Let's get right to it, man. So we can toast up to this. Puppy. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, they don't. I'm fucking around with the hops. <laughs> I'm not getting that much hops. Not You're not bitter. To me, it's not bitter. I don't know if I didn't take a big enough swig or. Take it slow. I'm not getting much hops, man. I taste hops. I'm not it's, it's, it's... Actually, it, when I tasted it, I felt I felt it, but now uh, it's decreased. It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't stay in the palate as long. I, didn't, um, I just didn't get anything. I just tried it and I was like... You know, it said, it's, it says Big Hoppy Monster, so I'm, you know... Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of expecting, you know, some... Some hops like right, you know, right up front, just yeah. smack me in the mouth. But no, I don't like get anything. I'm just getting malts, with subdued malts, subdued, you know, subdued hops. My bad. Um, I get, you know, I do get some bitterness, but it's not like overwhelming. It's not like crazy, like a, you know, like what I, like what the name implies. You know, big hoppy monster. You're yeah. expecting like a big bomb, you know, hop bomb, and it's a. Uh, no, it's not like that, it's man. Not. I was expecting, expecting more. Mm. It's not bad, not bad at all. But it's just I don't know, yo. It's it's kind of letting me down. It just has a hop aroma. The backbone is malt. Yeah, it's malty. That's what but it says. 
Um, yeah, f finishing with a m multitude of poppy god goodness. This I don't know where that yeah, went. <laughs> Mo uh, monster beer is truly unique in taste, texture, and complexity. I don't know how long a uh, hoggy had it, but fuck. Is there a date on it? Yeah, there's a date on it. Um, I think so. Best if enjoyed before. Oh, this is a vintage 2010, but I don't know. I I think we're not getting that. You know, no. obviously the peak of its freshness. I don't know how long hoggy had it, but um. Yeah. And you know, it took you know, it took them time to get up over here to my house. Yeah, so. I would say if it was fresh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, it was fresh. I'm pretty sure it, it just lost its flavor from. It know. lost the hops. Like it has yeah, flavor. Like yeah. don't, don't. No, 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 no. It has not, not flavor. It has hops. flavors. Yeah. That's what I meant. It has you, can, you, you know you can detect the flavors, but yes, flavors are there. Hops kind of diminishes. Yeah, it lost its power. Yeah, the hops like went way down. Yeah. And I don't, I'm just not really getting all that hot, uh, you know, that hot bite. <laughs> I'm not doing none of that. No. Just, it tastes good. It's a good tasting beer. I'm not saying it's not because it tastes pretty damn good, you know. My first time trying to, you know, a red ale, let alone an yeah. imperial red ale. So it's, it's really nice. I, I like it. That's yeah, a good sipper. Yeah. It's a good sipper. Like if I had, like me and him had one, one each. Could sip on this, you know. Yeah. Just be cool. Just be. Oh, well, it's just fucking nice. Like yeah, it's, it goes it's a down. nice beer. It's a nice beer to go down. Drinkability on it is pretty good. Oh yeah. Pretty good. You know, it's pretty high up there, man. Like, pretty sure any. Any anyone, if they want to try it, they can drink it. You know. Yeah. It's not gonna be, you know, all crazy. It's not gonna. Salt your mouth and just bombard it with, you know, crazy flavors. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's. So, uh, what would you say? What would you rate it? Um, I don't know if I can... Yeah. I, I guess I can't, I, I can't truly, truly give it, like, a solid grade, because, I don't know, it's not at the peak of yeah. its freshness, so, I don't know if we can, I can, you know, I can't, I don't know if I can go to that full extent, or, or what, but I'm, just, I guess I'm going to be partial to it, and I'm pretty sure if it was, you know, fresh... We get a better taste of it, you know, yeah. more. We'd be able to, you know, to explore more of the different tastes it has. But I guess I'm gonna go. I'll give it a B plus. I'll give it a B plus just on the fact that it tastes good. You know, it tastes pretty good. It's not bad. You know, it has yeah. you know chocolate hints. You know, little malt going mm -hmm. and chocolates. The hops. I wanted some hops. I like hops. I wasn't really feeling it in, in the beer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't feeling it, but I'm going to give it a B plus. Pretty sure if we had a fresh bottle of it, it'd be way better. But yeah. for me, B plus on this, on this brew right here. All right. Um, as for me, I'm going to have to agree with Omar. Uh, what he said, the peak of its freshness, not at all. Um... But as a rating, um, I like it. But um, I'm gonna have to go with B plus too. Right. Um, it, it's not quite an A minus or A for me because of that it not being fresh. So I guess both of us B plus. Yeah, both of us B plus. Um, we might we might try it again. See uh, if we can get it again. Yeah, if I can get it because yeah. I, haven't, I haven't really been able to get any. Terrapin Brews up over here. No. We have a local beer spot over here, but I haven't really fully checked out the whole selection. Hopefully, yeah. they have this because if they do, we'll pick it up. And if it's fresh, yeah. we'll do a we'll do a re-review of this. You know, yeah. this is a 2010 vintage, so mm -hmm. we'll do another review of the same brew yeah. and give you our opinion on you know fresher beer. But as mm -hmm. of now, the beer is not a bad beer. No, it's not a bad beer at all. It's just mm -hmm. it's kind of you know the flavors are subdued. You know, they, I, I don't know yeah. if it was, you know, whatever, whatever whatever the case was that made the flavors go down, Yeah, it happened. It's not a bad beer at all. No. It's, 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 it's fucking terrific. I love it. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It tastes, it tastes really, really yeah. good. We both agree on that. Yeah, yeah it, it tastes, tastes really very good. Simil uh, similar to the, the Stone uh, Russian Imperial, which we had before. Yeah, um, similar, yeah. The, the chocolate. Yeah, the, the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. 
the smell and the coffee yeah and then the coffee notes to it yeah mm-hmm. but the taste doesn't taste like coffee at all no yeah just slight yeah just probably just a little bit but not not overwhelming like the, the stone yeah and it's, so um it's, it's it's a good brew though yeah. if you can get it go go ahead and go copy you know yeah. cop yourself a it only comes in a in a four pack so go cop yourself four you know yeah. four pack okay. of this get a big hoppy monster four pack and just take it easy, 8.3, so don't be, yeah. you know, swigging these puppies no. back because you're going to end up on your ass. Right? <laughs> yeah. You're on your ass with your ass up. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, so, B+, plus for me and Michael, we're yeah. Beards. You know, check out our videos, mm-hmm. comment, rate, subscribe, all that good shit. You already know what the fuck, you know, goes on this YouTube bullshit. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. We're, right. You know, we're, we're going to be coming at you with more beers. We're going to do more reviews on the beers that, you know, Hoggy sent me. Those are going to be coming up. Yeah. We still got two more beers to go. IPA and an extra pale ale. Can we bring that shit to yeah. you? Yeah. And um, yeah, just stay tuned, you know. Yeah. Boy Omar, a.k.a. Insight. Mike right here. All Peace. right. Stick yeah. up, bitches.